Hey, how's it going today? This is day 11 of the Legendary Only series, and where I left off last time, I was farming the Ogre in true Vault Hunter mode because it's too much of a hassle in UVHM. I want to say sorry for the lack of uploads recently. School's been quite a bit more challenging these past few weeks, but this week I'm hoping to complete this Legendary series, and I have two videos that I'm very excited about that will hopefully be coming out within the next month. With that out of the way, now time to farm the ogre. Alright, this boringness again. At least I can quit after round 5, I know that now. After I get the ogre, I'm most likely going to do a huge story push in UVHM. I probably should have got more ammo, but I'll be alright. Okay, there's the ammo shrine. Round 1 done. Oh! Firestorm. Oh, I completely forgot I was on TVHM. I was like, oh, let's go. I'm about to get an upgrade. And I'm pretty sure another one just dropped right there. Okay, Chain Lightning. This is why this is the best spot to get through this quickly. You can shoot basically everything while just standing right here. I think next round is Warlord Slog. And you can shoot these guys fairly early as soon as they round that corner. And then shoot these guys as soon as you see them up here. And then these guys drop. <gasps> no! Oh my god. I don't have anything to say. There we go. Okay. Let's go. I think he dropped it. Yep. There is the oh oh, it's a plump ogre too. I'm pretty sure. That is a really good roll, I think. That's Jacob's though, which isn't great. Let me test this thing out. Yeah. I will say the only thing that sucks about farming it on True Vault Hunter mode is I just don't get to use it on UVHM because it is a really good gun. That is the name zero ogre all right well this just looks cool so there is the ogre i'm gonna get the fastball also but i need to finish this mission first all right now i need to remember that i don't just insta kill enemies and i actually die pretty quick no i'm dead All right, I'm just gonna let you do your thing. I'm gonna take a little break quick. No, did Lilith just steal my kill again, bro? Oh, she stole it. Let's see if I can pull a legendary out of this. Oh, my I was just joking. No way. Corrosive baby maker. I'm glad that I checked that. In memoriam. Oh! Yeah, he did just drop something. I think it's shock though, which isn't terrible, but I do want to grab one other one. Oh, yep, a shock fastball. There we go. I actually did catch it. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that looked like a tubby. Well, let's go. Tubby spider ant. Okay, two whiskey tangos, which I'm definitely not going to take, and then, yep, class mod for Krieg. Okay. Definitely worth it. Oh yeah, I definitely need a fire or explosive fastball. Dude, this- Well, perfect. Thank you for the fire. Hand delivery. No, he has a shield on. Funny. Oh. And then there's explosive, which is now worse than the fire. That's pretty funny. Back to back, though, is crazy. Oh, my. And there's the corrosive, which is the same as the shock. Well, that's everything. No drop. Okay, that was clean. Yeah, he is gone. 
another corrosive and it's the same as that last one i think i'm good with what i have if i feel like i need to come back and get another one i will for this it should be fine there we go nope okay there there we go there is a really good explosive one nice Okay, there's more grenade, more assault rifle. All right, now I have nine grenades. Oh, that one was insanely good. And the infinity drop, that was a really good Doc Mercy kill. There's the shock that I was looking for also. The reason this is so good with Zero, and especially the Sniper Calm, is because you can get one shot, one kill boosted by five. And I'm sure that there's blue relics that boost it by six, or a blue relic that boosts it by six, but for this run, that's the best I'm gonna get. Oh, back-to-back -back drops. Oh, another shock. And this one? Oh, it bounced off, oops. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. One shot, one shot, there we go. And, uh, legendary. What element this time? Oh, is that fire? And there's another drop. Oh, a, another fire. Oh, okay. It's the same exact thing, but this is why matching grip's so important. The only difference on these are the sight and the grip, but the sight doesn't matter for pistols. So matching grip lowers the reload speed and adds fire rate, which for this, the reload doesn't matter. But just because it has matching grip, it changes the fire rate from 8 to 9 and the reload speed from 2.2 to 1.7. And, and there's a non-elemental rapid infinity. And just like that, I have every element of fastball and every element except corrosive of the infinity. Alright, only two fastballs, that's not bad at all. Okay, that boy's dead. Let's go, we'll go that, slag, that, wrong one. And there's Warden dead. And here is the Varkid strat. Run towards one of these, shoot it. That's it. I'm pretty sure I've showed this every run, but I might as well show it again. If you down yourself right when you spawn in, you will spawn instantly at the boss fight. That's the trick. Can I kill him before Lilith? Yep. Oh. And there's the rolling thunder. But what I was saying was I killed Wilhelm before they finished telling me how scary Wilhelm was. And there is the rolling thunder. Don't touch that. Okay, the good, the bad, and the Mordecai. That's what I was looking for. No! The more I'm thinking about it, I was gonna go back to Fight for Sanctuary to get the three legendaries, the Hector's Paradise, Overcompensator, and Amigo Sincero. But I think I'm gonna go and do that now so I can actually use those guns because I just feel like those guns never get shown off. And today, I already got the Ogre and the Rolling Thunder. Yep, there is the Hector's Paradise. Okay, there's the Some happy bastards can't stop clamoring about paradise. Green hills, potable water, not being clawed to death. Shoot, I'm starting to believe in myself. Pandora, here we come. I've never done this mission, and listening to Hector's logs... It seems like him and his old team got tricked to go to Pandora. There's Hector's Paradise. But days ago, boys still think a rescue's coming. Didn't have the heart to tell them that cave-in was no accident. A few boys went rabbit already had to be put down. I'm the only thing keeping the 191 together. Those sackless piss rugs broke their promise. Well, I won't. These men have earned their keep. I'm gonna get them their paradise no matter the cost these three legendary items aren't included in the checklist that i have that's just because they're mission items but 
I decided to get the Flame of the Firehawk shield earlier in the run, so I figured I might as well get these so I can really have gotten all of the legendaries. There we go. Yep, there's a Slag Lyuta. Let me pick that up for the Slaga, actually. I'll use this for now. And, wow, an explosive fastball, which isn't as good, but that's funny. And a Gub. Yep, next legendary. Hopefully. Yep, there- oh, and he did drop the world burn, which I can't use. Oh, no way. Oh, it's just the weapon skin. Finally. Oh, and he dropped the Kerblaster. Wait, is this for me? What's this all about, Vault Hunter? It's for your anniversary of getting sober, Morty. I'm proud of you. Had to get you something to mark the occasion. Alright, there's the Amigo Sincero. There's a lot more to getting the Overcompensator, which is the last legendary in the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. So right now, I think I'm going to end it today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. When I play next, I'm going to get the Overcompensator, and then I'm going to go back to the main story to get the Skull Masher and Black Hole. Those are my main three objectives for next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment because I love hearing from you guys and I respond to most. Have a good rest of your day. See ya.